the lessons were the tree trimmer and the Hebrew prophet Amos and the pond dweller Henry David Thoreau. So Zuchut Avot, yes, the merits of the ancestors are part of the secret. But as I was reading Peter Beinart's book, and as I listened to him this afternoon, and sensed his dedicated depth of presence, I realized that we need to expand our frame of explanation about our survival. It's not only zuchut avot v'imahot, the ancestral merits. It is zuchut banim ubanot. It is the merits, it is the gifts of the blessed children, our sons and daughters. And to experience, first of all, the responsible reportage of that extraordinary book. John Milton and uh, author of the Areopagitica would be proud of what genuine freedom of the press has come to mean. The precision, the accuracy, the marvelous notes. Combined with that, moral passion. And finally, a vision informed by particularity. None of this blah, 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 but every response so concrete so specific, so impassioned. All I want to say is that uh, the tribute to the memory of your beloved wife could hardly be more beautifully fulfilled than on an afternoon like this. And I want to thank you for the opportunity to share my expanded appreciation of the additional element that explains our improbable survival over millennia. And that is along with the moral merits of the ancestors, it is the vision, the passion, and the moral dedication of our sons and daughters. Thank you. Much.